The film documents the shooting death of Dontre Hamilton here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I think it's a deeply personal story to Milwaukee. I mean, it's been in the news the last three years, but I don't think that they've seen the Hamilton family or uh, the story quite like this. I just hope people can understand that Dontre was a person who didn't deserve to die, who didn't deserve to be shot 14 times. 1246, 1246, shots fired, shots fired, officer. The film really picks up after that shooting and the aftermath of his death. A lot of times when families are thrown into a situation like this, they're, they're apolitical, they're not lawyers, they're not media savvy, and all of a sudden they're being asked to be in front of news cameras and, and give quotes, and they're trying to figure out what happened to themselves uh, and to their loved ones. Here in the city of Milwaukee. It's hard, man. It's, it's, you throw yourself into someone else's life that you really have no business being a part of, you know, and it's like you question the entire time of like why I'm doing this, why I feel it's important to tell this story, what are our intentions, you know, it's a, uh, you film a lot of times with a family in the, the worst time of their life and you don't go home feeling good about yourself. In documentary filmmaking, you know, you want to maintain objectivity, but you know, you grow close to people that you spend a lot of time with too. We did include a lot of different voices that were directly involved in this case. You know, we, there's the police chief is in there quite a bit. Uh, we talked to the district attorney. We filmed police training. You know, we did a ride along with police. Our goal was to let people have their say and tell, you know, their truth. We premiered the film early this year at South by Southwest, uh, which was an incredible experience. But Milwaukee has always been the, the screening that's been in the back of our minds, is bringing the film home. Our film premiered six months ago and we're, we still, we shot several scenes since then. We're, we're still editing. I didn't sleep last night. Like me and my editor, Michael Volman, we're up till, uh, what, I mean, what time is it now? In post-production, this has really been a two-man team. I learned a lot about strength and courage and not giving up throughout this process. This fight kind of keeps us breathing and then the dime track. Open the shot, 14! The blood is at the doorstep.